<laughs> okay, so um, you're about to get hands on with uh, a bit of microscience. And uh, the first thing to do before you get started is treat it like something from IKEA. You've got to get all your bits out first to make sure you know exactly what you need and what you don't need. So, uh, pretty much everything you need will come in this little plastic box and your combo plate thing here, which will hold uh, your little miniature pickers and stuff. Uh, First thing to do is to make the spirit burner, and you do that by finding the little glass pot, well, plastic pot, and it's the one which doesn't fit in properly. You'll notice the other two pots fit in fine, they go right down, but it looks slightly different and it won't fit in properly, and that's important. So, we've got some methylated spirits and a pipette, and you just need a couple of squirts should be fine. In fact, in fact, no more than about half full, really. You're not going to need anywhere near that much. Put your meths on the side, way, in fact, right on the side of the lab, because you do not want that exposed meths anywhere near uh, an, a, a naked flame. Okay, uh, then get hold of the top of the spirit burner. It's got a glass tube in which you're going to run through the wick and you'll need to cut this down to size, you don't want a huge, you only want about half a centimetre sticking out of the top and the rest of it will act as a wick and will sit in there like this so make sure that's on firmly and you can just, that should be fine okay, so that's our spirit burner, we can just put that to one side now you don't need to light that for a while Next thing we need to do is get your two uh, sort of reacting vessels, I guess, um, and pop them into uh, F1 and F6 of your uh, combo plate. And then comes the fun bit, it's measuring out the absolute tiny amounts of chemicals. First thing we're going to do is get one of these uh, micro spatulas and get some uh, zinc powder. And you need a level spatula of zinc powder. So that's too much, so just going to wipe it against the edge until you've got a level spatula, it's a tiny amount, and just pop it into one of these ones, but it's probably better if you just tilt it so it reaches the bottom, and then do that. Okay, put that to one side, and pop that in there. Uh, the other one is going to be have water in and it's got to be enough water so that when you pop this on that the water is touching this little tube here you'll see why later so I'll just add some water to that so as you can see the little tube is touching the water and the difference is, is this is the one with uh, only one bit sticking out one, uh, whereas the other blue lid has got two bits sticking out and that goes in there. Uh, on this lid, we're going to pop that blue top, make sure it's on firmly. And this is where the two bits of rubber tubing come in. There are three bits of rubber tubing. You want two that are um, the two shorter ones. One goes on here. One goes on here. These two bits of rubber tubing are going to be holding this glass tube in between, and the copper oxide has got to be placed in here. Now, the copper oxide, you need an absolutely tiny amount. Um, take the smallest amount you can think of, and it's going to be even smaller than that. Uh, we're going to be judging you on how well you do this, because this is one of the trickier bits. Um, you, this, for this one, you use the thin end of the micro spatula and take tiny, I don't know if the camera can pick up how, just, just how small that is, that amount. Um, what you do is you hold the tube horizontally and it's a bit like threading a needle. Slide the copper oxide to the middle, tilt 
your microspatula and then withdraw. There we go. And it can go to one side. Get someone to put the lid on it for you and get rid of that. Uh, you don't want any of the, you want to keep this held horizontally, you don't want any of the black powder spilling into either of the two vessels at the right. end. Right, excellent. Um, all we need to do now is we need to be, we've got zinc powder in the bottom of here, we're going to be adding um, 5 molar hydrochloric acid to this, which is going to generate a gas, which is going to be passed over here, we're going to heat the copper oxide and um, observe what happens. 5 molar hydrochloric acid is uh, strong stuff. Um, so you, you have to be ultra careful with this stuff. Any spillages, you've got, you get them uh, ported straight away. Goggles must be worn at all times. And anything on your skin has got to be washed off immediately. So you only want half a milliliter in these syringes. So just take more than you need and squeeze down until you have half a milliliter of the acid. Any drops on the end, just touch them against the side and that should be fine. You then place that and we're ready to go. We're now ready to light our spirit burner. Obviously you make, making sure that your the rest of the methylate spirits is way on the other side of the classroom. At this point we're ready to go, ready to inject the, the acid. Um, there's going to be some gas generated, not going to tell you what it is, but ignore the first few bubbles because that's just going to be air being pushed over the uh, glass tube. So I'll add that, try and add it slowly, but it's, it might jerk a little bit and just squirt it all in, just like that did. So you can see you've got bubbles coming here, ignore the first few bubbles, and then the idea is, is that you hold the spirit burner in one place underneath the copper oxide and watch what happens. At the end of this experiment, after heat, well, you need to heat it for about two minutes. After two minutes you should have a good result and we'll be judging on how much copper you've actually managed to make. Um, make sure that when you uh, remove the heat after a couple of minutes, keep an eye on it to make sure that no water is being sucked up backwards into the tube. If you think that looks like that's starting to happen, then you need to, I'm going to move that away now, you need to uh, remove this tube on this side to stop any water being sucked backwards into it. And that is it. Um, okay folks, so that's it. We're going to be judging you on how well you get the copper oxide powder into the glass tube. Uh, if you can tell us the name of the gas that's being made, and also if you can tell us the reaction that's helping the copper to be made at the end of the reaction. Um, and also how well you've managed to make the copper. And that's it.